Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker. You know, Honorable Speaker, I know Honorable Boyan Kagongo, Kangogo. I know his son was sitting in KCP and he has done extremely well. And congratulations to the young Kangogo for the exemplary performance in his KCP. That is why you see the Honorable Kangogo is very keen to contribute on that. But just for the record, Honorable Speaker, let me also take this opportunity to congratulate Angela Wamoyo Kimani, who was also sitting for her KCP and she's done exceptionally well, Honorable Speaker. And I can confirm that the system is working. I actually just checked my daughter's results while I was still seated here. It's true there was a problem with Safaricom earlier, but it has since been rectified and that system is working. Honorable Speaker, if I can now go to the usual Thursday statement on behalf of the House Business Committee, that pursuant to the provisions of Standing Order 442A, I rise to give this statement on behalf of the House Business Committee, which met on Thursday, 21st November 2023, to prioritize the business for consideration during the week. Honorable Speaker, I continue to commend members and committees for the active participation which has seen the conclusion of several key items of business in the House this past week, including the supplementary budget. I encourage members not to tire as we head to the end of this season, this session, Honorable Speaker, sorry, and ensure they attend sittings of the House and committees as they expedite any urgent business to enable its conclusion by the House before the recess period. Honorable Speaker, with regards to business scheduled for Tuesday next week, the House is expected to consider the following bills at various stages, some of which are listed in today's order paper. One, Committee of the Whole House on the Statutory Instruments Amendment Bill 2023. Two, the National Government Constituency Development Fund Amendment Bill 2023. And C, the Conflict of Interest Bill 2023. Honorable Speaker, kindly protect me from the Honorable Sunguya, who is behaving like he's selling cattle at Kisarian Market. He's conversing in Kimasai right behind me. Honorable Speaker, is, is Order, Honorable please. Sunguya. You know, Honorable Speaker, the Honorable Kangogo and Honorable Sunguya are being a very bad example to younger members. <laughs> because they have been here long enough and, you know, these speakers pick up everything that they will converse in vernacular behind the person who is speaking. It's only fair when someone is up on his feet speaking that those around them one desist from conversing in vernacular because Kenyans do not understand your vernaculars. <laughs> Two, except those from your village, of course. And now, you know, Honorable Speaker, Kango is from uh, one region of the country. The other one is another pastor who is from another part of the country, Honorable Speaker. You can guess the kind of conversation that was there about Keto. And, uh... <laughs> Honorable Speaker, if I can move on, two is a second reading. And I was saying that, Honorable Speaker, so that you also get the attention of members on the committee of the whole house on the National Government Constituency Development Fund Amendment Bill of 2023. And I can see the Honorable Kwenya Thuku has noted, I know what interest he has in that bill. So those who had an issue with that bill, it is scheduled for Committee of the Whole next week. Two Honorable Speaker is a second reading of the National Lottery Bill of 2023, the Gambling Control Bill of 2023, the National Disaster Risk Management Bill of 2023, and the second reading of the Land Laws Amendment Bill of 2023. Additionally, Honorable Speaker, debate will also be undertaken on the following motions, some of which are listed in the order paper today, should they not be concluded in the course of the sitting this afternoon. One report on the loans contracted by the national government between May 2022 and April 2023. Two, report of the K 